Hello, Mr. Collier here. This is the second video for Lab 5A, What is a Newton? In this video, I'm going to show you my collection of the data so that you can, if you're absent, get all the data points for Table 1 in Lab 5A. Okay. So for each one, and I showed you in the previous video how to calibrate uh, your spring scale, set it to zero, uh, we're going to take the weight and also the mass of each of these. So I have it zeroed, I hang the mass on it, and now you're going to read that. And each line is worth a tenth of a newton. All right, and then for each one, you're also going to set it on the balance. By the way, this is three washers, your first data point. So there we have our first mass. You'll record that on the data table under mass in grams. And then you also need to convert that to kilograms. Our second data point is going to be six washers. So I'm adding three washers to this. Setting it on the spring scale. And again, reading it. Record that on your data table, measuring it in newtons. And then we also need to get the mass in grams. Don't forget to convert that to kilograms as well. Our third data point will be nine washers. Nine washers stretches the spring scale a little bit further. More mass gives us more weight. Record that on your data table for nine washers, weight in newtons. And here is the mass of nine washers in grams. Next, we're gonna do 12 washers. This is our second to last data point. There is the weight in newtons of 12 washers, read that, record it on your data table, and the mass in grams. And the final data point will be 15 washers. Record the weight of 15 washers in newtons on your data table. That's the last data point. And then you're also going to get the mass in grams. Don't forget to convert it to kilograms. And now you should have everything you need to complete your data table. You can go back and pause the video if you need to measure the weights or the masses. And then to get the mass in kilograms, take the mass in grams and slide the decimal over three places. One more video for this lab. I'm going to show you in part C how to complete this graph. 